Right now at six, do you know what's in your drinking water? In just minutes, leaders in Union County will decide what you should come out, what should come out of your tap. Thanks for sticking with us tonight at six. I'm Jane Monreal. Vanessa and Colin have the night off. At the center of this debate, whether to take fluoride out of the county water supply or keep it in. And as WCNC Charlotte's Lexi Wilson shows us, the reaction seems to be mixed. It's a controversial topic. Some say that fluoride is vital to keep people's teeth healthy. Meanwhile, others say that residents should be the ones to decide what goes in their water. What you're drinking in Union County could change. The topic in question, whether or not to continue adding fluoride to water. This after county commissioners couldn't reach a unanimous vote during their last meeting. We got 240,000 people in Union County. It's I got to look out for the interest for all of them. County Commissioner Richard water. Helms wants the fluoride to stay. He grew up on well water and had cavities, but says he's seen others benefit. My children have grown up on fluoridation in the water and uh, have very few cavities. And they're all extremely healthy. Science that Dr. Frank Quartz, a pediatric dentist in North Carolina, has seen firsthand. I currently work part time in Ash County, North Carolina, and it's a rural county. And the difference in decay in between Ash County and a fluoridated area is striking. According to the CDC, Grand Rapids, Michigan was the first U.S. city to fluoridate its public water supply in 1945. Since then, school children saw significantly fewer cavities. Now, for decades, cities and towns across the nation have put fluoride in their water, achieving better dental health. It's probably one of the most successful public health measures uh, in the history of this country. Saves North Carolina citizens hundreds of millions of dollars a year in, in dental care costs. Still, not everyone is on board. Healthcare is not a one size fits all type thing. Neither is dental care for that matter. Union County Commissioner Vice Chairman Brian Helms says this isn't about whether fluoride is good or bad. It's about consent. This whole thing raises significant questions regarding, you know, whether or not an elected board has the authority to do something like this or if they don't. And if the ordinance is passed tonight, it will take 14 days to become effective. We'll continue to follow the story and bring you the latest. Reporting in Union County for WCNC Charlotte, I'm Lexi Wilson. And we know there are a lot of conversations going on surrounding fluoride in water, whether it's be between neighbors or online. We also understand it can bring up a lot of questions. So we want to help you sort through any of the confusion. Megan Bragg and our Verify team breaking down some of the fast facts surrounding this story with trusted sources like the CDC and the National Library of Medicine. You can check out that story right now on our website and inside our mobile app. Also, if you have a question that we haven't answered, let us know. You can text them to 704-329-3600. Our team will do our best to clarify them for you tonight on the Late Newscast at 11.